Before I get back to the DNA in the Zodiac case, I wanted to do a quick video on my suspect. In 2012, Vince Rapetto from SIPD was able to elevate the report that I had sent him on Cavalli to the level of the chief of police, Chief uh, Greg Sur, his name was S-U-H-R at the time. And after reading it and consulting with the other assistant chiefs, they decided to investigate my suspect. And I was elated. I mean, this is what I've been asking for for years, just investigate him and find out what the truth is about whether he was a Zodiac or not. So what I understand, because I wasn't told all the details, is that Vince and another inspector went out to his house, KQ's house, and they spoke to him for a while, and they asked him if he would cooperate with the investigation, and he said yes. And then by the time they got back to the station house or the Hall of Justice, wherever they went, there was a phone call, and they said that Cavalli would not cooperate with the investigation. Now, this is where things went sideways. Um, what Vince told me is that because Cavalli wouldn't cooperate, they couldn't investigate. That was it. So they were shutting down the investigation. Now, anybody with half a brain or who watches true crime on TV knows that that's not the way an investigation works. The way an investigation works is you speak to the person. Let's say that they were talking to a guy that lived in the Tenderloin that made $20,000 a year. And they said, we, we think you killed somebody, we want to talk to you. And he tells them to go screw off. The next thing they do is they go and talk to his friends, his family. Uh, if he's in business in any way or has business associates, they talk to them. They make it so that this person understands that if he doesn't speak to the police, the police are going to start asking very uh, sensitive questions and very embarrassing questions of people close to them. So you get them... You force them, sort of, to cooperate. None of this was done with Cavalli. So basically, Cavalli ran his own investigation. He ran the investigation for SFPD. When he said no, they just said, okay, we're going away, bye-bye, that's it, we're closing down. That's not the way it would work for, for other people. This is rich people's justice. This is what happens when you're wealthy and you have connections to the mayor's office or wherever he had connections to in that city. Because uh, anybody else, that would have just been the beginning of the investigation, not the end. But when he refused to cooperate, that was the end of the investigation. So this is just another example of how wealthy people are treated when they become suspects, especially in a murder case. All right, that's it for now.